Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the grand finals of the RuneScape Chronicle Legend Tournament Invitational. This is a 16-player uh, community-ran single bracket elimination tournament featuring some of the game's top players from Ladder and Twitch. And this is about to uh, it's about to finish. We're about to crown our victor for the grand finals. Just two players left of the 16 and about to be one who will be the winner, of course. It will be Glenn versus YX for this final matchup, which is clearly about to start. Now, uh, this is a best of five, and uh, what's what's going on here is effectively a conquest format, where each player has submitted three deck lists. They cannot change those lists. They are locked in, and what they must do is win once with each separate deck. Game number one is about to get underway here. Glenn queuing up with the, uh, with the, with the Vinescula for this first matchup. Uh, what will his opponent pick? What, what are we looking at here, Typhlicky? Like we got an Ozan for YX coming down, and we're just going to have um, Glenn's perspective for this first game. We'll have YX coming in on the second one. We've got just Glenn's perspective for this first one, and going to go ahead and looking like a Ogre Brute getting tossed back. Yeah. Keep the River of Recoil. Going to keep that Gorge as well. It's Gorge is a fantastic card just to hold on to, knowing that you've got that heal, knowing that you've got that damage coming up. Yeah, double a gorge. Absolutely gorgeous, gorge. Double gorgeous. So yeah, absolutely. And you know, tossing the ogre brute back, and I absolutely agree with that because uh, taking yeah. ten damage you, if you play it on slot one, that is uh, to put your opponent at one AP. And this matchup cannot be desirable. You you know, usually putting your opponent at one attack is really uh, at one attack is really nice. But here, Ozan uh, has a very dedicated aggro deck, and that is the agenda that he will be expecting here. So instead, gonna play something that is not quite as uh, self damage inflicting here. Starting with a KGP agent into the well we'll see the rest of the turn let's switch over to oh your stream is not loaded just yet nope we're just gonna have glenn for this one just for the time being okay oh, oh yeah because of the thing never mind i understand all right well your kgp agent right that's gonna bring him up to the three ap that he needs that's exactly where vanescular wants to be did find that and then it's gonna be able to kill uh, all of the monsters that are in all the fight cards rather that are in uh, of course the vanescular deck very efficiently all those efficient minions like the werewolf that gives two gold and deals four damage and that leech uh, when you're at three attack is much much more efficient to kill you can get more health off that rather than losing health to it and he uh, sacrifices the gorge for it though he 100 percent was discording a gorge because he had two in his hand yeah so that was that was why he was waiting there towards the end is that something that he wanted to do and apparently it was so yeah like you said he's gonna get that two extra gold gonna deal four more damage and this bar fight at the end Hopefully he was trying to snipe a weapon. It's not going to happen though, because we've got a fern there coming up for him. Yeah, no weapon for, for YX. That is. Yeah, of course uh, we do have Glenn going first. So if they're on oh, no, I thought there was a weapon. Uh, well, yeah, no weapon here, and that's actually fine. The weapon to kill the fern. Yeah, and if perhaps he would have a weapon here to try and uh, wilderness at the end, or perhaps into a Ketzek. So I like the placement there, trying to deny uh, perhaps a weapon that he got off a skeleton warrior or something like that, or a Kale uh, to kill a bigger creature, and that's not going to hit. But yes, did lose one of the Gorges at the moment, though it's not a card that he can cast, so it's not going to affect him for the time being. Uh, but that is the price you play, pay, pay with KGP Asian, but still absolutely needed to do it, because you know that three attack that he has right now is going to enable him to kill these creatures, right? And he sees the fern drop there. He's going to slow it in slot two, going as the first position. He knows that a slot two fern is not a bad place, but he's going slot three. Actually, he's putting yeah. in slot threes. I like so he's this. He's looking to snipe a weapon with the wilderness and it... then have that fern buff the creature that's in that slot three for Ozan. Yeah, and I like this because it's in slot one. Play. Uh, he might uh, equip something like a Sergeant Slime Toes weapon or a Kale mm -hmm. weapon, or he might safe spot and then uh, attack something like a skeleton champion, right? And uh, then yeah. he'd get the 6-1 weapon, and the wilderness there would destroy the weapon. It would interact with it. And then the fern could hit something really big, uh, like a Ketzek uh, that you can find in this deck. Not the case. He is going to play Ring of Recoil there. It's not a weapon coming out in slot 1, but still a nice placement uh, for the wilderness, and it is uh, good to see, you know, place... Oh, there's a Kale, just oh, one late. Gonna get the it still so potentially gonna might hit one. the Ketzek, or the that I was talking about, or the skeleton champion, that fern, that is. Yeah. We'll have to right. see. I mean, it's going to be... He's going to take... Oh, it's a fern of his own. So it's going to take an extra hit. And it's going to knock down the weapon, too, that he wasn't expecting to get rid of. Yeah, both charges. Yeah, there it is. That's the oh, legal skeleton champion at the end. Yeah. Uh, does destroy him there. And that was that was the target he was looking for. But it worked out either way, right? The fern hitting the other fern, causing both durability to be used up. 
and uh, as a result of that, did not have the second charge that he wanted going into that final slot. Of course, uh, very math dependent with the weapons, Ozen is. If you can yeah. mess that up with a wilderness and with a fern, uh, you can really get a lot done. And that's exactly what happens here, that first game uh, going to, so, of course, Glenn. So Glenn takes game number one of, off of YX. And I think that uh, YX has had the harder time getting to this point. Uh, I mean, he played Toby, who is a very fantastic player. He had SOCOM, he beat Creaky. Uh, so he's had quite a match getting up He didn't up just to this beat finals. Socom, I would like to point out. He <laughs> absolutely <laughs> annihilated him. My favorite moment of the clip. Uh, rest in pieces, Socom Seal. Uh, yeah. Very, very entertaining, though. Looks like uh, we do now we have both perspectives. YX's hand, though, this time. Yeah, but what are we looking at here in Glenn? So for Glenn, he's going to toss back the... Uh... Oh, I... Mr. Does find the Lunar Spellbook, going to be very pleased yeah. about that, uh, but he can't afford it for the time being. The Calphite worker's there, but does not have the Alchemy, or the Penguin Sheep, or any other form of gold gain. Not going to be able to quite afford that. Let's switch over to his opponent, we can now see that. YX um, actually also has the Lunar Spellbook, and is going to keep it. He's hoping to grab a... Well, not some quite gold gain. enough gold gain either. Not quite, but... But yeah. almost, uh, neither player going to be able to get that off. But still a nice chapter, right? Wizard Mind Bomb there and can throw down the Geeka. Uh, is is going to have a big hand going into the next yeah. chapter and can be uh, pretty pleased about that. Let's take a look at, at Glenn's hand there. White Wolf coming out and that's going to give him the gold he needs for the Archmage Segrador. And uh, that's going to be pretty good. I, I don't think he's going to hit anything though. It's not going to hit anything though, yeah. So that's going to be just a wasted coin on him actually. Yeah. Um, can be very strong I mean, though. It's if... not a bad play. Yeah. Yeah, because so of it course... It's a safe play for sure. Calphite Worker, uh, you know, that 1-4, we're looking at it here. If you can get that uh, Archmage Segador to hit Calphite Worker, that's one of the good targets, certainly, against Ariane. Yeah. You, you know, suddenly, that 1-4 becomes a 3-6 and is actually uh, quite scary. Well, quite much bigger than, than yeah. But uh, here, both players going to expand their hand sizes. You'd want to take Chapter 1, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Both players going to draw some cards and going into Chapter 2 uh, with much more options. And, of course, uh, Ariane really does like to draw cards for all the cards that synergize with it, like Earth Blast, which we know is in uh, Glenn's deck. But also in a game about building four card combos a big hand is definitely quite nice right yeah so i mean glenn is going to be one coin up closer to that spell book he's yeah. not quite going to draw enough oh, he, he's does, he the finds alchemy. the alchemy that's yeah put him there so he finds the alchemy that's going to give him a turn two spell book he's got to clear his hand oh though, i absolutely um, love this to play get all of the space yeah, he's yeah. he's going to play the wind strike at the end. Doesn't want to draw any more cards. But even though you won't yeah. draw all of the potential cards you could at the start of next chapter, that's okay. You're going to have the lunar spells, which are amazing. But I really love that Calphite worker placement there. Instead of just alchemying, he's going to refresh the weapon uh, in case there's anything that uh, try you know in case his opponent tries to destroy his weapon and sees that he has it, uh, he can actually just re refresh it completely and play around any sort of yeah. uh, weapon destruction. A nice contingency plan from there from Glenn playing play. it safe. Yeah, but both players... they're both going to alchemy, yeah. Yep. Uh, and they're both probably the next thing that we're going to see from YX then is that spell book coming up, I can almost guarantee, and they're both going to go for it. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> oh, there, he's going to lower the cost of the spell book in the slot four. Yeah. He's but they're both it. grabbing lunars, and interesting mirror matchup. Yeah, I, I wonder what the most useful spell is going to be here, and it's probably going to be Vengeance uh, in combination with some other damage, right? Boost uh, is certainly strong, and Borrowed Power is certainly strong, uh, but perhaps not going to be used in the same way that we have seen in uh, previous games. Uh, the Boot, sorry, Borrowed Power uh, in particular yeah. is most likely going to be used to kill that Yoga Shaman, and now that his opponent has just For drawn four absolutely. cards off of the book, it's, uh, it's going to be particularly strong, right? Oh, we see a Kale there in slot one, but he knows he's got to try and dodge um, all of the spells that YX also now has at his disposal. Um, he's going mean, to play... That's well, a good card to have anyways. Yeah. He's he's going... Uh, Ooh, that Ogre Shaman. Yeah, going to bring out the, the Ogre Shaman, and he's going to be able to kill that with the weapon, but uh, he what we need to think about Assuming here... Assuming it doesn't get... Yeah, is boosted. And I imagine boost yeah. will go down in slot one because Ariane doesn't have that many creatures. So you want to make sure it hits something rather than nothing. And if that is the case, it will hit the Kale. And that is probably what he's hoping for. Still going to take quite a lot of damage from Kale. Uh, but if it hits that Yoga, that could be uh, game ending right there. Going to take it back. He's thinking it about it right now. A lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, instead uh, going to give gonna his... going to give him money, which he doesn't need at this point because he's got the books out. So it's not such a bad play. Um, yeah. The only issue I have with uh, Kaizen's tournament... back and forth. 
Yeah, he's not too short to do. Let's take a look at his opponent. He's gone with the boost into Wind Surge, into uh, Borrow Power for the, the strike at the end with the Wilderness. And I think that's, you know, an excellent use of the Borrow Power. Going to yeah. get some damage behind that. And looks like Boost going to make that a 7-5, 14 damage uh, coming in that's strong. painful. Yeah, and now I think he actually... I mean, it's still probably better than hitting the Shaman, but... Yeah, but he, that's he lethal. Six damage coming in oh, from his yeah. opponent there, and then he's going to take four on the backswing from the yoga, and that does end the game. Glenn uh, not respecting the boost and getting punished by that, uh, oh. sadly for him. And game number two uh, taken by YX, bringing this best of five series up to 1-1. One, one. So that's, that was a really smart play by YX uh, to, to throw those down. He threw down a couple of his spells and saved a couple for later chapters just in case his opponent was yeah. trying to play around them. Uh, but it just it just worked out for him in that and I, case. And Glenn, like you said, didn't respect the spells. Yeah, I really like the inclusion of Penguin Sheep. And obviously he did manage to find that as well. It grants lots of gold. Really great card for, for that Ariane agenda. And of course brings you down yeah, to one attack absolutely. and activates those very powerful cards like Wind Surge and uh, Skeletal Mage, which sometimes you can kill. Uh, here we do have game number three. So Glenn uh, playing the same deck by the looks of it and uh, going to be looking for, I know, and going to keep the Archmage Segredors. Those cards particularly good, particularly impactful, and especially against Ozan, right, because of the uh, big creatures he sometimes likes to play. Can yeah. really throw him off balance. Now, do you play those chapter one hoping to catch those big creature combos off? Which, I mean, it looks like Glenn is throwing down at least one of them. Um... So he's gonna maybe try and stop some of these big combos that Glenn or that uh, YX could try and do with weapons into some of the larger creatures that give even better weapons and deal damage. Yeah, your options uh, are. I it think. doesn't seem like that's not. Uh, well, yeah. I'm not sure what he's going to play. Let's take a look. Uh, he doesn't have any creatures in hand doesn't other than Kale and Alcarid Warrior. No. So, yeah, he's going to not put all his eggs in one basket. going to keep one uh, Segredor on hand. But your only option, really, was to play one Segredor or two Segredors or one Segredor yeah. and the Calphite Worker here. But uh, going to gain the right. gold I in think... slot one. And I really like the Ring of Recoil coming out. Actually, against a Raptor, I'd like it coming out first because, of course, uh, they do tend to build their AP up. And Ring of Recoil at the start of the game, for that reason, is pretty good. Uh, and still... Uh, we do know, well, we did see a Kaizaj tournament in Glenn's deck, so maybe uh, for that reason, that is exact. Oh, look at that, does manage to hit the Alcarid uh, Warrior. Yeah, so he's going to take four. I mean, it's also going to stay the weapon away. Um, so I think that one's a win. That was a perfect Sedgidor for him. Yeah. To just counter the Kale. Deny the Kale weapon, both strikes. And were we going to see that? No, we are not. Uh, it was going to snapshot oh. with the Kale, but I thought perhaps a Skeleton Champion at the end again, and that would have been a swift end to game number two. But here, just going to play it uh, safe with the yep. snapshot and uh, get a bit of damage out. But does not do as much damage as he was hoping for. Only one damage rather than five uh, with, of course, that Kale weapon. So going into game, sorry, uh, chapter number two. Uh, let's see what Glenn Chapter draws. number two. I mean, either way, whether it was the snapshot or... Uh, the Skeletal Champion. It was going to be a win for Glenn in that place, but who going to grab two Ali Morrisanes. There's a lot of gold gain in this chapter. Yeah. Maybe, maybe thinking about taking that back and getting some card draws. He's going to sell that weapon a lot of card draw well. that he doesn't need. I'd quite like to see the Haunted Soul in slot one, because you could then use that 1-1 one, one weapon uh, to deal a little bit of damage uh, to that Haunted Soul. You deal three damage to it, and then uh, finish it off with two. Uh, but maybe he doesn't want to tank his HP down, because you know, of course, a very, very aggressive is uh, Ozan, and can deal a lot of damage. So even that two HP might be something he's concerned about. And as you can see, Lady Heffin, he's playing at this chapter, he is concerned about damage. Yeah. So and that might be why he doesn't want to play the Haunted Soul there. Uh, but did not manage to find any Earth Blasts, Earth Waves, or the Spellbook. And that is, of course, the the focus of this deck from Glenn that we've seen uh, from him in previous rounds of the tournament. So uh, here, just going to do a little bit along the way, get some gold, and uh, play the Archmage, and then uh, heal up. Uh, but so far, no damage coming out. Oh, that's a snake. I mean, this, this, oh, that's that snake is going to deal some damage to him. And I mean, that's not what he wanted, but he's still putting a lot of aggression on, and this heal is going to be a fantastic uh, for Glenn. It's going to keep him a lot Look at that. safe. Yeah, that is really nice. 16 life <laughs> for 3 gold. Yeah. Uh, 2 life more than what Full Tetsu would give you for 2 less gold as well. It did mean he, he didn't get that final slot. He didn't get to play anything there. And as a result of that, he isn't going to draw uh, a full 3 cards here. Just only the 2, I believe. Uh, yeah, that is correct. He's got 8 cards in hand currently. Right. Uh, and, and, you know, that might affect him. He, he doesn't pick up a Spellbook or an Earth Blast. And that's really what he wants to find. Uh, he's got plenty of gold gain for this it. This chapter is really... He would have ideally loved to pick up a spellbook on Chapter 3 so that he had Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 to play it. Because, I mean, by the time you get a spellbook in Chapter 4, 
Eh, I mean, yeah. you can play them in Chapter 5, but the value... You don't get to use them. ...your opponent them. <laughs> knows that you've got them. Yeah, yeah. you're absolutely so right. It's it's almost a negligible point at that point. Yeah, I think there is only one spellbook in this deck, though, but you know, if he wanted to play it, it had to be this uh, chapter. Uh, the other cards are Earth Blast and, and things like that, but didn't find it, uh, but still has the chance to. Uh, you're absolutely right, though. Lunas is not going to be useful this chapter, and if he does draw... Sorry, if he does draw it next chapter... Um, well, he, hold on, this is chapter three, he could find it. But either way, right, here's the giant spider. Yeah, I mean, he could, he could use it. Look at that. Giant spider take, tanking take the fern like an absolute from. boss. That was, that was a perfect placement for that spider. Yeah. Gonna grab a three, one weapon. Oh! From the soul. <laughs> oh uh, it does no. get removed, but sadly it's not going to be too impactful uh, because you can still kill a haunted soul fairly easily on just two attack. But he was you know, hoping to save effectively four life uh, with that spider. Uh, sorry, with the weapon there, yeah. and in a matchup like this, you can see why, right? He wants to just keep his health high. There's the second Lady Heffin, just out, outlast his opponent, and I like the inclusion of the Kaizaj tournament now. Earlier, I thought, oh, this card doesn't do too much damage, but you can see Glenn, uh, in this particular matchup, you know, with the two Lady Heffins, he gets to go up to full, and then if he can just extend yeah. his attack power just by one, just with that Kaizaj tournament, just throw that down at some point during the game when you find the time to do so, and in that final fight, you, you'll have that edge, and that might actually end up being his win condition for this particular game, as he has not managed to find those uh, big big cards that deal a lot of damage right right i mean he's he wants to find a wave earth wave earth or uh the other one what's it called uh earth blast and earth wave yep earth, earth blast earth wave i mean both of those are going to be a finisher for him but he's not drawing either of them which is really disappointing for him ozan has got the chance to heal this turn but oh wait there it goes haunted soul for the win yeah, Haunted Soul for 5 damage in slot 1. Does, do, does not manage to draw any heals, no and I wouldn't expect out. very much healing or I any in YX's no. deck. A uh, dedicated exactly. aggro deck does not have space uh, for the healing, of course. It does not want to slow down dealing the damage, and in some matchups, if it, it you know if it does start drawing that healing, it's not going to have the damage to, to finish the game. Here, though, uh, yeah, Glenn yeah. picking up game number game number 3, so the score is now 2-1. Uh, three. Yeah, so Glenn, he's going to pick this up. He just needs one more win to take this entire tournament. And I know he finished uh, second that le in the Community Cup he in did. the closed beta. He, I'm, so I'm sure he would love to finish this one out as quick as possible. Gonna queue up his Raptor, and YX gonna go back with the Ozan. See if he can make it work. Ooh, there's a Virago. I don't think he'll be holding on to that in this matchup. He's gonna be looking for early attack gain like KGP agents and uh, and all of the health cards that he can get. And it most, he's considering, he's already got a Kale. He's thinking, do I need this? Do I need two of these weapons? And the answer is, yes, I'm going to keep that. It's going to help him reach into those Culinaromancers and things like that. Does pick up the Kaizash yeah. tournament. He's going to be really happy about that. And then plays That's the Kranzian Warrior. So looking over at YX's cam then, he had uh, basically discarded every card in his hand and... He didn't like any of it. He's going to draw the Skeletal Champion and uh, a Wilderness back into his hand. But Yeah, Mithril Arrows. I actually quite like that inclusion. It's going to help him uh, take out that Skeleton Champion there. Uh, but yeah, here but... comes the Rowdy Cannoneer. Going to deal four and obviously pick up a Cannonball. Four damages from any card is pretty good. Uh, when especially, uh, And you know, getting the Cannonball as well. Going to set up the Lady Zay. Just even one Cannonball makes that card even better. And Lady Zay can be played without Cannonballs. Though obviously it's nicer to have them. Uh, here, the uh, predicting the gold gain. He's, he thought his opponent might gain some gold in slot one from a White Wolf. Uh, but not going to be the case here. Nothing going to be stolen. Uh, going to kill the Krasian and draw two. Uh, but I'm interested to yeah. see where this Wilderness... He's got one coming up. It's not going to hit anything though. But it's nice nice predict. If that Mithril Arrows was like a Sergeant's Lime yeah. weapon or a Giant Spider yeah, weapon, this would deny it right there and that was a, a really good place to place a wilderness if that was a giant spider which is more traditionally used compared to mithril arrows which does the same thing but costs one gold yeah. mithril arrows so, I mean, certainly safer though for for yx it was definitely a safer play that's exactly right uh and he's gonna end this chapter up on life but yx has that 6-1 weapon to use on yeah. whatever he fishes at this we'll point. see what he draws shall we? let's switch over to him and see well we'll see what he draws when he finishes his chapter slightly out of sync uh, yeah. but here uh we do see yep. culinary romance uh, uh diagonal sentinel and the dark beast uh, dropping in here just lots of sustain coming lots out of heal. 
Yeah, gonna kill that, yeah. that diagonal fledgling, get his health up, and then kill the Kale, which will give him the ramp he needs. Even gonna throw down the cannonball. He, he doesn't need that slime to his weapon yet. Doesn't want to take that into the next round face up, uh, showing his opponent that he has it, where, you know, a bar fight could come out, something like that. He's gonna keep that there. Just play the cannonball. Is it something to do? He, he just wants to, uh, just to, yeah, that's that. Uh, what did his opponent draw, yeah. though? So uh, he's gonna YX, be he's able to use that weapon that very meaningfully. Yeah, that's a very nice way to do it. And he's got a fern that he's looking to throw down. Not sure if he wants to do it in this turn. If he does, throw it in slot three where his snake is now. It could have hit the Colomancer, but it's looking like he's not going to do that. Going to go ahead and battle with the wilderness yeah. instead. Uh, perhaps, you know, waiting to try and kill a Jad. It's hard to see. Uh, maybe that, that would be the most optimal target, I suppose. But it's hard to predict where that would come out due to Kale just giving so much ramp into it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, really, really nice use of uh, the snapshot there, and of course then the wilderness, lots of damage. But I think uh, this is where this. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, the third. He oh, did play it in the end, by the looks of it. Now. He's now gonna take eight so damage. It's gonna take eight. Wow, that's not what he wanted to do. No net gain of and two life though in second. total. Okay. He's yeah. on thirteen. And I mean, he uses up that weapon. So fortunately for Glenn, he had a cannonball in the air in the end, and nothing that he needed that weapon for. Yeah, and but I actually that, did see why a lot worse. Uh, with that fern placement, he was thinking about slot three and four. He was switching it around. Did choose slot three in the end, and it paid off there. Look, hit the hit the color mounts, yeah. which is a really good target. It does eight damage, uh, and now look, he's now his opponent on eight life. Uh, can Glenn climb out of this? Can he stabilize? He needs to be able to stabilize, and if he can, he should be able to go ahead and win the game. But the question is, can the can Ozan reach him? Draw. Can Ozan catch him up before he goes out? What did he draw? Let's take a look. For, for... So he got a slime toes. He's got a white wolf and a wilderness that came into his hand, and it's not quite what he was looking for. Yeah, there's for. no heals at all there, and I really like the the wilderness. He knows that he can't heal, he can't do anything. So maybe his opponent equips a weapon in slot one, and then he uh, tanks the weapon, you know, and and then like destroys the weapon durability so that when his opponent goes to fight something, it's not going to be there. Why but... kills himself, right? Yeah, and that's what's going to happen. I mean, we've got a spider down with slot one for oh my goodness it's actually into a happened. fern yeah so i'm not it's, sure that it's gonna it's get, it's gonna be him, it's though. it's so perfect it, it will kill him oh no he's moved the wilderness he's moved no, it he's, he's going for the lethal himself i actually think this is the better play coming out from glenn i like what glenn's doing this is even better i think this is more likely to win but we know if he did play that wilderness there that giant spider would be denied and then he'd take four uh, from oh wait hold on that wouldn't kill him you're right but no it would because of the wilderness damage as well three da five damage oh, from wilderness and then fern would have hit yeah. him back for four uh, but still he's still going to take the lethal here has exactly six damage plus goes. the two from the wilderness and knew he couldn't heal out of range but went for the lethal his opponent very very low on health and does pick up game number wow. four glenn is our winner for the chronicle legend uh, tournament glenn congratulations and that has been, play by Glenn. out of all yeah, two tournaments for this game so far, uh, Glenn has been in the, the finals of both. So he, he is the man to beat in the tournament mode at this moment. So a huge congratulations to Glenn. Well played, picking up the games over Wolf, and right now the game over YX. And I think that was a fantastic play. YX is a very strong player, but Glenn going to come out on top for this one. Absolutely. Uh, I really... I, I'm speechless. Glenn, well played. That was uh, really, really some really nice games there uh, from both players. And uh, if I'm being honest, Glenn, I didn't expect him to go all the way, but he did prove to us that Glenn actually uh, definitely very capable. Took out Wolf, the number one player on ranked, and then proceeds after doing so to win the tournament. Well done to him. And I think that that uh, is it for me. That's going to be flicky. some validation for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, but... Thank you so much, Interjection, for your help in this tournament. And thank and you for setting this up. Guys. You are the man behind the scenes. You are the guy who pulled all this uh, out of your ass. Nicely done. Thank you for putting it all together and getting all these people uh, to turn up and play games. So without you, this wouldn't have happened. I would. I just put the stream on, basically. That's all I did. You were the guy <laughs> telling everyone where to be and setting all the rules and writing everything out. We had a, we had a good team working on it, so it was good. But thanks. Yeah, it was a lot of we fun. Do a lot we of do fun a... doing this. We do have a post-tournament podcast with uh, Pekosko over on his Twitch channel if you want to check that out. Absolutely. That is for us here at Interjection Videos. I think that'll be it. Uh, uh, yep, I am done for the day. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. As mentioned, uh, Pekosko will be doing a post-tournament roundup. Uh, but do follow this stream if you are interested in seeing more from me. My name has been Interjection. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel for Chronicle where you will be able to find uh, the highlights and, of course, uh, recorded games from this tournament.